Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a little bit of everything and we are going to be stuffing our cashless cash envelopes. So we are going to jump right on into it. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. My name is Janelle and on here I do all things budgeting. So I just want to say shout out to y'all because in the month of March, I was able to get a YouTube paycheck and I used a portion of that YouTube paycheck to purchase the things you guys see here. So I decided to get some new um, cash envelopes and a binder. Now y'all know that I am cashless, so no, I'm not gonna be stuffing this with cash, but I am going back to tracking by hand um, my expenses. So I just wanted to share with you guys what I got. So first things first is I'm going to show you guys the cash envelopes because they're so stinking cute. But the person that I got them from was, um, creating Stacy. And I wanted to go with a specific type of cash envelopes and that were like the divider version. So that is the ones that I got. So she sent this card. Um, I want to say this is like, um, what is that? Like a bookmark kind of. And then I also got this cash breakdown here that is reusable. So I do love this. And then I got my first... Um, like a thousand dollar placeholder so this was gonna be perfect for when I get a thousand dollars in my um, emergency fund savings and then y'all these are beautiful envelopes oh my gosh they are so pretty my favorite color is blue so I definitely went with a blue but y'all like look at these these are like perfection they are so stinking cute Okay, and I love this because now when I'm going through, like I can just see all of the things. Who knows? Maybe I'll set up my um, sinking funds like this in the future. But I really, really love these, y'all. I really love them. And I just, these are my categories, groceries, gas, household, personal, spending, and eating out. I am thinking that maybe I'll order one more um, just for like sinking funds slash like on budget or something. Maybe because you know, anytime that happens, I will also put that in here too. But these are the envelopes, you guys. And then this was just her like thank you card. So really, really beautiful. And it just says on the back, made with love. It definitely was Stacy. I love these. These are beautiful. And then now over to my binder. So um, this person here, I'm trying to remember if I can, if their name is on here. Oh, this is from Simple Plans. And she gave me a thank you, like, 10% off and then one for someone else who wants to buy from her. So thank you so much, Josie. Um, so I got those here and she also attached um, these bookmarks and then I have a, oh my gosh, on the back of them too, I have, um, what is this called? Some savings challenges. So these are super cute. I didn't even realize there was one on the back of them. So <laughs> yes, these are so stinking cute, y'all. And then she gave me these like two little gel pens. Oh my gosh, this brings me back to the early 2000s in school when you wanted to write with gel pens. These are so stinking cute. Okay, and then this is the actual binder. I decided to go with beige because that's the current purse that I'm using. And I think it can go with anything instead of like just a regular black. And then this is the inside. And I really love it because it is very versatile. You can do your cards standing up here and then your cards going across here. And um, the quality feels great. And I love it. It reminds me back in like when I started really, really doing cash envelopes and having a binder. I actually used to carry around this. This is what I use for my sinking funds right now, but I used to carry this around and I love it. Um, but this is too big for me to carry around nowadays. So I really, really love this. So we're actually going to get into it, you guys. 
um, and it has a pen holder too, but I really, really love this. Um, and so, yeah. So now we're going to actually get into the numbers um, and start stuffing all of the things. So let me get this out over here. Okay. I didn't even look to see y'all if these match up, but thank goodness they do because I would definitely be crying on here. Okay. So now we're going to go into stuffing my cashless sinking fund. So I do use Ally Bank. I do have their link in my description box below if you're interested in banking with them. But they have in their checking account where you can actually go and set up your checking account like you would your cash envelopes if you're using cash and put the money into those specific categories. And as you're spending, you're able to remove the money out of those different accounts. So that is how I actually um, do my cashless budget. However, I use a credit card for all of my expenses and then each week I go and pay that stuff back off. So we're first gonna start off with our beginning balance for groceries. Y'all, we started off with zero dollars because we were over budget. And I'm just going to date this for the first because that's the beginning of the month. And um, we are going to be putting in a deposit and we are going to be adding three hundred dollars into groceries. So it's a hundred dollars less than um what I normally budget. If you guys don't know, I talked about my husband not having a job, but still getting a job. So for the month of April, I wanted to play it safe and decided in case he decided he wanted to, you know, take a longer break before going back to work. Um, so I did not budget a full amount for groceries, but I think that, um, I can make it work, that I can make it work, but we're putting $300 into groceries and that is just what we're going to budget out. Next is going to be gas. And for gas, we started off at $3.97. And for um, gas, we are going to be doing our $230 that will stay the same. Y'all, I don't even have my calculator. Can I do the math? I think it's $233.97. So $233.97. Baby girl is always taking my, um, my, what is that called? I'm going to tell y'all in a second. My calculator. She loves numbers, she knows her ABCs, and she uses the calculator to count. So yeah, so this is what it looks like, y'all. So now on to household. So I may need to use my iPad to do some counting. So with household, our starting balance is going to be $63.93. And for... Um, why did I do that? For one, um, for a household, we are going to be putting in $150. That will stay the same. And now I'm going to just pull up my calculator on my iPad. because so I was also looking at the numbers um, to make sure that I have the right number. So we'll do $63.93. Really? Come on, y'all. 63.93 plus 150 gives me 213.93. Okay, so that is where we're starting off with for household. So that gives me enough money to pay whenever our lawn people come. And then if we need any household things... Next is going to be personal. 
Now, y'all know, if you don't know, personal does not come out of the household budget. It comes out of my personal budget. But um, I track it with you guys and share the numbers. So for personal, we are starting off with $20.48. And the money that I am putting in... This month is going to be $140, and this should be enough. This would be $160.48. Enough for me to get my hair washed twice and um, do my nails. So I'm trying not to do any extra spending with buying any extra food or anything like that, but sometimes it happens. I'm just, yeah, giving myself some grace. Um, next is going to be spending. And we're starting off spending with $85.90. And and on 4-1, I completed a challenge. Do I have it here? Um, one of my savings challenges. And this was completed in March. So that $20 is going into um, this account here. So we're going to be adding $20 because as I did the budget and everything like that, I, um, I'm doing the math again, y'all. I... Um, went the, went the way as if we didn't have any money. And so I did not actually budget anything for spending. Um, and plus there's a good amount of money now in here. There's $105. Although now that we're talking about it, I think that baby girl's pictures will happen, um, this month in April. So I may actually see how the rest of the month goes and put money into spending because spending is literally for all of the other random things in our lives. Lastly is going to be eating out and that is at $17.72. And and there is nothing budgeted for eating out. But like I said, when I did this budget, this was me um, not knowing what was going to be happening with my husband and him what when he wanted to start working. So um, things have kind of changed, but we're going to roll with the budget that we budgeted and go from there. But y'all, that is the stuffing for my cashless envelopes. These are so pretty. Oh my gosh, y'all. Just look at them. Look at them. Now it makes me really want to see a way to really create um, some expense trackers. So if you're somebody who knows how to make A7 expense trackers, because I tried a little bit at work the other day and yeah, it was a fail. Um, let me know because I would love to just have like some printable ones I can put on stock paper um, and do that. But yeah, y'all, this is where we are at. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next one.